be the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Steven Matz gets the starting nod for the Mets. What do you have for us on him, Denny? Hey, in a day and age where we don't see very many complete games, six really good innings in his last start to pick up a win, and I think they'll be happy if he can duplicate that again in this one. Digging in, Cesar Hernandez. And we are ready for some daytime Leading baseball. The afternoon for Philadelphia, the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Underway oh, now in the Sunday ball. finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. These Mets fellas as they take the field here today, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do. In this sport, you have to have short-term memory. You have to let it go. They can get it going back in the right direction today. One one is laid off for ball two. Sixty-four degrees our temperature here at first pitch this afternoon. The two one. No. He's only four pitches in, but he doesn't look too sharp to start the day off. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And he will smartly swipe that ball away in foul territory, so we likely won't see the bunt again now with two strikes. That's and that misses That's ball four, so a good battle to begin the ball game today, but the leadoff man will reach first anyway. He's really struggled with his command in this game, no doubt about it, but to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the belt, the pitch. Hey. Matt no has ball. made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. As a look, now the pitch. No. Ball one. And set up behind the dish is Woody Keller, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Woody Keller, this is my nightmare. He likes to call the pitch above the zone, above the belt. I know guys say those are the pitches that go deep, but I'm telling you, if you're calling that high strike, it opens up a lot of room for the pitcher. I agree with you, Hero. That's a tough pitch to get on top of and to put it in play. So if you're a pitcher right now, try to elevate in that top part of that strike zone. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hernandez aboard here at first with nobody out. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Nimmo comes on now, and he has it one down. That is third. The center fielder. With a job. Now at the plate, Mark Withenshaw. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's set. Here it comes. Ball. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Runners on first with one down. And this one's in the dirt. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2-0. and From the stretch. Hey. 
And now they've got him picked off. They slap the tag on him, and he is out at second base. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Nimmo. And the inning is over. Down quickly go the Phillies. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Martin Perez. Do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, lefty Martin Perez, not an overpowering guy. Sneaky quick, 92 to 93 miles an hour. Good hard slur. His changeup is a good pitch. Not overpowering, but one thing I like that he does, and you'll know early on if he's pitching well, he's not afraid to come inside with the fastball to right-handed hitters. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Emil Rosario. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. On the line, that's a base hit. And immediately, the Phillies now must deal with a real burner standing at first base. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the baseball, and was able to get it off. Good, nice executed pitch for him. Here's the former first-round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. Dan Dero, these Phillies as they begin play here today. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, without question. We, they find themselves in this position today. They got a chance to sweep the series on Sunday and make it a miraculous weekend. Boy, you know, it's always a nice way to finish off the weekend. You win a big Whoa. game on Saturday, and to close it off with a win here and a sweep on Sunday would really be sweet for this ball club. One one makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Perez has compiled over 1,100 innings of work over his major league career, and through those innings, he's posted a WHIP a little under 1.5. Certainly something he'd like to improve on. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Nobody out, runner on first. Again, another foul ball. We'll try again, one, two. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Here's Jeff McNeil. Pitch inside the throw. And skips in as he steals the bag easily. So it swipes second successfully. But you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt. But I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early and the game is tied. So that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. This is sprayed foul off to the left, and that'll even the count at one and one. Fouled away. Line drive, snagged on a short hop. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. So here's Pete Alonzo. He's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. He's set and the pitch. 
This one is crushed. Back, 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 and gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Second home run early in the year, and the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. and keep this first inning alive. Popped him up. Hoskins will range over to make the catch just beyond the first base dugout and that will end the inning. Sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh my goodness. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. And Bryce Harper will dig into the plate. He's got over his first six at bats in the series so far. Right. Harper. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. That's a strike. In there, strike one. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation. I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. 0 oh, and 1 the count to Bryce Harper. And a pitch in ball. the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 Three and one. 1. One ball, one strike. And this one runs inside. a little too far in, ball two. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Can't three find one. the zone there, and it's three and one. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. And that ball misses four. for ball First four. Thing. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Digging in now, Andrew McCutcheon, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a call strike. It's 0-1. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. McCutcheon or just Kutch, as he's frequently referred to, was selected in the first round back in 2005. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. The one-two. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Alonzo is under it, and he's got it for the first down. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Marwin Gonzalez. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. He's a perfect two for two. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Gonzalez, once a Minnesota twin, was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. 
Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Phillies go down quietly there. They trail it here, two to nothing. Stepping in, Michael Conforto. Set to lead off the home half of the second. The right field. Michael. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Smoke toward the hole. Fielded it cleanly. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So stepping in, Wilmer Flores. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Pitch on the way. One out, nobody on. Counts even at Outside one and ball. one to Wilmer Flores. From the windup, the one one pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. Weak grounder down the line at third. And that's the second out. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time. And that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bed next will be JD Davis. First offering on its way. Lined into right, a base hit. I can't tell you guys how fired up Bobby Cox used to get in the April to get a knock. And I would know that because I've had an awful lot in that April. So now to the plate, Steven Matz. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Two out with the man at first. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Ready on 0-2. And, and he comes oh, back with a three. fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Mets leave one after two. It's a 2 nothing ball game. Now in the box, Reese Hoskins. We are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball. 1-0. Now the 1-0. Oh. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. 
This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point. But that's what they've done to this guy so far. In now, Omar Narvaez. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Narvaez, a Venezuelan-born ball player. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. It can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. The one two. Whoa. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. High fly ball after straightaway center. Waiting on it is Nimmo. He makes the catch for the second out. Batting nine. The pitcher, number 33, Martin Perez. So striding in, Martin Perez. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Phillies down in order. They're still down. It's 2-0. Bottom of the third now, and stepping up is the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Now the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Harper, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. The batter, the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. At the plate, Brandon Nimmo, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that's in there for a strike. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. Here's a pop-up now. Navarez moving to his left. Two down. Now that number six. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. In there for strike one. Like that pitch there. Lefty on lefty matchup. Curve ball away to a lefty. Smart pitch. Line shot to second, but it's caught and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. They're up two to nothing. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Runs up and gets this one down, but a foul ball, one and one. And the pitch. Phillies are into the hit column. Yeah. 
the bat. Number two, shortstop, Gene Segura. Gene Segura standing in. Swing and a liner. Foul. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here's the 0 and 2. As a hitter, you gotta be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup and you gotta fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That was some nice execution on that pitch. It was spotted down yeah, nicely that. down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. First things first, here's a throw over. And a dive, but he's back. At the plate, Mark Withenshaw. Pitch out, nothing doing. The 1-0. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Two zero on the way. Good. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the base over. Digging in for his second at-bat, Bryce Harper threw a base on balls his first time up. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. Good hard no. slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. And a sinker oh. dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. So two on and two out now. Let's have a look at our quick speed comparison for the two starters. And as you can see there, both guys topping out at 96 miles an hour. So the next 
hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. One and one to Andrew McCutcheon. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it any time he wants for a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And they are on the board as the run scores from second to make this a 2-1 game now. Now we're talking about picking the teammate up after that Long strikeout. He wrote big, big, and I mean big, two-out RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside, stayed through the baseball, and was able to come through. Blake now, Marlon no, Gonzalez. And she'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Ready with the 1 0. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Rip down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And the tying run comes around to score from second. It's now a 2-2 ball game. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way after the mound to pay a quick visit. Bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. No balls and a strike to count. Two men are on with two men out. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. And the 1-1. One, one. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Hit hard on the ground a second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Well, I think he took it for granted there a bit. Probably thought he had it in the bag, and he just lost concentration for a minute. Now his pitcher has to pick him up with two outs. Into the box now, Omar Narvaez. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Bouncer up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well. Hey, even though we're in the middle of this one here, Duo, that's a big base hit. Now with two RBIs. To yeah, you never know when it's going to come, Dan. But when you see runners in scoring position, you're up to the plate, your eyes light up, and you have to come through for the team. Great at bat right there. Into the box now, Martin Perez. Ball. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. 
a time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Four runs here in this half inning. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at two and one. As a look, now the pitch. To two and two now. Oh, man, was that a hack. He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. Uh, two, two. Little chopper back to the mound. Go on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. Fair to say? Oh my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be the imposing power back, Pete Alonso. The last at bat. Got a fastball, didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Get to short. There's Segura. Goes in time, and that's out number one. So the base is empty here with one away, and next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. First pitch of the at bat. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Ramos has a history in coming through in the clutch moments, of course. It's always a little bit of a debate whether or not being clutch is actually a trait that a player possesses. But with him, there's no denying it. We've seen him deliver in big moments repeatedly throughout his career. It just seems he elevates his game somehow when the pressure is on. Yeah, Matty, he has definitely put that debate to rest. He has absolute ice water in his veins. Pulled high in the air out to left field. McCutcheon is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. The right fielder, Daniel Cody. Michael Conforto. So two are gone in the Mets' half of the fourth. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. First delivery to him on the way. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. If this offense is going to be this aggressive, I'm going to expect this pitcher and catcher combo to expand the zone. Conforto oh. behind the ball in two strikes. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Change of speed there, but it's taken for a ball two and two. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. We're in the fourth inning of a 4-2 ball game. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. The 2 2 one more time. Is in there. A called strike three. Down in order go the Mets. They trail it here four to two. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Cesar Hernandez. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. 
And he'll start ball. the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. The pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be, so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game. Ball. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. Well, he's not proving that he can command his breaking ball in the zone right now. And until he does, there's no reason to bite on it. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. To third. Davis grabs it cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The batter, number two, shortstop, Gene Segura. Striding in, Gene Segura. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. There's a ball low. He misses with a changeup. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitter's counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitcher's pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Ball. Three and oh now. Mark Withenshaw waits on deck. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. And ball that misses outside. as well. Bigger ball bigger. four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. The center fielder, number 24. Mark Stepping in, Mark Withenshaw. Here comes the first pitch. No. A ball and no strikes. Hey, it's nearly impossible to turn two with a guy that could run like this. It's even harder when he comes out of the box hitting from the left side. You really need something tailor-made to even have a chance to get him at first. And the runner back. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. One and two. Off speed pitch ball. in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. ball. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Now a throw over to first. He okay. a dive, but he's back in there. Runner at first here, one man out. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Well, a 3-2 count and a guy that handles the bat up at the plate. This is a great time to put that runner on first in motion. Payoff pitch home, ball and he misses again here. It's ball four, and that's back-to-back -back walks here with one away. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden, the wheels come off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here. Now here comes the Mets skipper on his way toward the mound, and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Seth Lugo takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. 
in a bit too tight it's ball one first and second now one man out ball in a strike I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there those fastballs light up your eyes and you can occasionally do damage with them but he wasn't able to catch up with that one One home. Ball. Two one. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. Wow, was he looking to swing the bat right there. Check pitch on a swing. That ball wasn't even close to the zone. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Nimmo. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now back, the left field, Andrew McCutcheon. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No. Two men are on with two men out. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Oh. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Hey, and that's taken for a strike on the inside corner. Two and one. A 3-1 count to the Phillies' left fielder. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. The three one is in there for a full count now. Three and two. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. Hard hit ball to second. First is in time. The Phillies have turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Phillies lead it 4-2. to two. Welcome back to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with the Mets manager to discuss his thoughts on his club's offense so far. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the Thank you, Heidi. Now batting, Wilmer Flores. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much just disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. Pitch on the way. Ball one. One oh. The windup and the one oh pitch. No. The rest of the lineup could learn a thing or two from this at bat. This guy's been really patient. Now he's in the driver's seat, sitting with the 2-0 count. Fouled off.
the 2 1 home. Lifted in the air to center field. Withenshaw has to run straight back, but he has it for the first out. The first baseman, Kimby, Kimby. Stepping up now, J.D. Davis. He reached on a single in his first try. Pitch on the way. No, that's Boy, they've been just getting shut down right One here. Ball. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. The 1 0 home. Hit high and deep to right center. Withenshaw, the range to his left and put it away. Two down. Now that. No Robinson Cano will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Two balls That's and no ball. strikes to Robinson Cano here. Now a ball hit hard toward first. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. The throw into second. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Just goes to show if you're going to throw that two seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out of the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. So it's back to the top of the order now, and up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Pitch on its way. Ball. One ball. No strike. Misses, ball two. A three ball, ball one strike outside. count to the Mets shortstop. Two out here and a runner at second. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. What better viewer? Number nine. So it's first and second with two men gone. And ready to bat next, the Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Fastball here as they'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. Two down, runners at first and second. Line drive to center field. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Two left for the Mets, still down by a count of four to two. Justin Wilson takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 38, up there, Wilson. Top half of the 
sixth about to get started. And in the bat next, the utility man extraordinaire Marwin Gonzalez. The pitch. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Oh. Looks like oh, no. a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. The 1-0 home is offered at and missed for One the ball. first strike. One strike. Fly ball out toward right field. Conforto is there and he has it for the out. The bat, the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. No hits and two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball one. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. That's ball. inside. Two and oh. Nope. Ball. Three and oh. Three ball. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. The 3 0 pitch. And a ball fastball ball. misses their ball four. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, now we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better oh issue a free pass oh and give him something to drive. Ready once again, Omar Narvaez. He's one for two in the ball game. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. Here comes the first pitch. Oh. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Runners on first with one down. Ball. Fastball Outside. just misses. That's ball one. There's ball two now. Now the 2-1. In the dirt here. No advance here, but it's 3-1 and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The pitch, man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count. And the Yump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that. He's set. Here it comes. And they do have him bunting with one away as he puts this one down. There's one. But wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. Now, that was the kind of a high ball. degree of difficulty to play that time. You see the off-balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Cesar Hernandez. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Here's the first pitch to him. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. A ball and a strike to the Phillies leadoff man. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Runners on first and third, two away. Pitch is popped up. Runnels shading to his right. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. A 
couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Stepping up to the plate, Jeff McNeil. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. First pitch on its way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Coming to the plate now, Pete Alonso. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate. Bases are empty, one man out. No, this winds up inside for a ball, 2-0 oh now. 2-0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Outside, 3-0 oh, oh. now. Wilson Ramos will be next. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hit high and deep out to left field. And that baby's gone. Taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Hits are even right now at five aside. Back up the middle. Segura has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Mets draw a hair closer thanks to the solo home run. The two, three, four hitters now to start the seventh. It's now a four, three ball game. Chase Fry is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 57. Coming to the plate now, Gene Segura. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Ah! Oh, one. Wind up and the 0-1. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Segura behind on a 1-2 and two count. Fry, a native Oregonian. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. One, two. Fouled away. Here he comes again. One, two. 
swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, and that, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box, Mark Withenshaw. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. He's one for two in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. And it's fouled away. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And it's gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number five on the year, and it's now five to three. Well, this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to. He has that rare combination of speed and power. You don't want to walk him and have him get on first base. So what happens, you throw him a strike, and he can hit the ball out of the ballpark like he did just there. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. And one and 0 for two from him so far in this one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Well, it should be 2 and 0, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1 and 1. Guess where he's going with this next pitch? Probably a little further outside. See if the fish are still biting. A ball and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another one-two delivery. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. That was aggressive pitching in that at that, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Stepping in now, Andrew McCutcheon. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 0-1 pitch. And he powers the cut no fastball ball. by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. Down 0-2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitch. Swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Ready to go. Phillies get one in the frame, jersey of this solo home run. Yeah. stretch. It's now 5-3 Philadelphia. Standing in, Wilmer Flores. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Wilmer Ready. Here's the first offering. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The 0-1 on its way. This one is crushed. Back, 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 and.
the fourth to leave the yard so far. Yeah, Matt, it's always when you score runs over this big ballpark in City Field. Heck, d -Roll, they've moved the fences in a couple of different times here to make it easier for the Mets hitters. You know, this has been such an impressive hitting performance today by this offense, considering the fact that we're at City Field, although aesthetically pleasing, not for an offensive ball play. Mike Morin comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Number 28, Mike Morin. Up next to the bat, the third baseman. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. No balls and one strike. One for two in the ball game thus far. Fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One guy. Number three will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Fouls this one off. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Woo. It's taken. Now it's 0-2. Warren, a six foot four inch right-hander. He was a 13th round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. The 0-2 delivery, and he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Anytime you get rookies just breaking into the big leagues, you have to expect a certain amount of this. There aren't any easy at-bats at this level, and you really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. Standing in now, Ahmed Rosario. Oh. He'll take a look at the pitch too oh. low. It's ball one. Let's go. The 1-0. Yep. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and a strike to Ahmed Rosario. This is skied out toward right. On the move is Harper. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo shot. We'll march on to the eighth. It's the Phillies five and the Mets four. Jerry's Familia has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Marwin Gonzalez will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Set and the pitch. Skied into very shallow right. Conforto is under this one. And very quickly one gone. Now that the first In a 5-4 game, let's give you a look at the starter comparison to see how these two guys stack up against one another. Standing in, Reese Hoskins. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First 
It's coming. Here it is. Uh, couldn't help himself no that ball. time as he chases one, one below the knees. It's strike one. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitter's meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. And a splitter oh. here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. Chopped towards first, reined in. And very quickly there, they're too gone to start the inning. Now back, Petra, Omar, Narvaez. Ready now, Omar Narvaez. A hit in two tries for him so far. Comes set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ball. And he takes ball one. One ball, no Both strike. teams with six hits so far. May have gotten a piece of that one, but no matter, it's one and one. Now the pitch. Get hard back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. And if you're wondering what's left on the Phillies bench, there you go. We'll see if one of them gets pressed into service here. Nick Williams will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Hitting for the Phillies. Number five, Nick Williams. Way oh, yeah. late on the fastball for strike one. Now the 0-1. Outside for a ball, one and one. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. One home is taken ball. for ball two. That's where two he ball. wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Conforto will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They lead it 5 to 4. Hector Neris will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in the outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. No balls and a strike to count. And he falls behind 0-2. The Mets find themselves losing in the late innings. What are your thoughts on this one, guys? Yeah, Matty B, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still D-Row well, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs that's going to win the ball. Nemo with an even count of two and two now. Here now the two two. It's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff man on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him back here. So now to the plate, Jeff McNeil. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1 0. Is 
swung on and missed strike one. Playing 11. One ball, one strike. And they'll come oh. back with one and third as the count moves two to two and one now. Bases are empty, one man out. Three and one to the Mets left fielder. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he lays off ball four, so now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Now that the first base for so a run of first down with one away, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonso. Yeah, this last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run, so it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Uh -huh. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. One out, one on, and a one-run game. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. Oh. And he misses there, one and two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And no one will track it down. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. To the plate now, Wilson Ramos. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swing and a miss. One Blew it right by him at 96. It's a ball and a strike. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. And it misses three and one now. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Set. Here's the 3-1. Right. Hold strike two, and now it's full three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Hit the other way out to a right field. Harper on the run. He's got it as the time run is left on base. Met strand one. Still down a run, it's five to four. Paul Sewell enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ninth yeah. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Welcome to my world right here, batter. I've seen this 0-2 count way too many times. Hittable pitch in the middle of the zone, you take one. Slider in the dirt, you come unglued. Now you got to step out of the box. You have no idea what's going to happen. They really bunch him up on that one. He swings and misses for the first down. 
It's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. At the plate, Gene Segura. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Three and all. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. He loses him on ball four. The center fielder, number 24. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Mark Withenshaw. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. From the stretch. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a throw over, and the runner will get back standing. Hard hit ball to second. That gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The right field, yeah, that hard hit three. single right there. That's clean. Three for four. He's looking locked in. Here's Bryce Harper now. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in the strike. A one pitch on its way. Trying to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. Runners are at first and second with one away. Yanked on the ground down the line. And that'll get past his outstretched glove. It's a base hit. And that'll add an insurance run there from second to make this a 6-4 game now. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of freedom. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a 1-1 game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from the solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. Andrew McCutcheon is at the plate as he watches ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The 1 0 home is in there for strike one. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. He 
there's a pop up now. Alonzo over to his left. He falls it in without any trouble. And we're on two away. Digging in the switch hitter, Marwin Gonzalez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball, no. ball one. One ball, no strike. Runners at the corners, two men out. It's 2-0 no, to oh, Marwin Gonzalez. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Fouled off. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. Rips this one to first. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And they'll extend the lead even further as the runs into score from third. That makes it 7-4. Hey, d -Roll, that's a big RBI right now there. Stretch this the lead to three. Mm -hmm. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going in. Yeah, Dan, no doubt as an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make it. Edwin Diaz makes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Number 39, Edward Diaz. Into the box now, Reese Hoskins. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And that is going to cost him a run as he'll scamper home on the wild pitch. Man, he's out there trying to throw strikes and give his guys a chance to come back and maybe win this thing, but that wild pitch and the insurance run it allows to score certainly aren't helping matters in the slightest. Three runs already home here. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. Now 2-0 oh with a great hitter up, a runner on third and two outs. This is not the spot where you want to be challenging a hitter like this. This is where you have to pitch. Very careful. As a look, now the pitch. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Boy, he set her cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location no matter how hard you're throwing. Two outs here with a runner at third. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. Phillies on top, eight to four. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Jose Alvarez is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Scott Kingery will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. In now, Michael Conforto. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here comes the first pitch. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. Now the pitch. That's ball. over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. Now one some one. action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. J 
just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. One, two. No. Two, two. Three balls, two strikes. Down Wilmer four. Flores waits on deck. Three, two picks. Fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. And it's fouled away. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Up next to the bat. Looks Settling in now, Wilmer Flores. He's working on one for three thus far. Yeah, now this guy collects his muscles in that last step bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Swing and a liner. Throw on to first, and the Mets are down to their final out. Now batting, third baseman. So digging in now, J.D. Davis comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First pitch coming, here it is. Ball. One out. Now the 1-0. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Two out, nobody on. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. The Mets down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Eight to four, the final this afternoon. The Phils took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Martin Perez earns his first win of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.